Hey guys, it's Mauricio, and this is how I see Forex today on December 18th. Um, currently, I am looking at USDJPY, and the reason why I want to go ahead and do a video on USDJPY is due to the fact of what it has been doing and the area in which it is right now currently, and how we can actually take advantage of this. This is really a good setup that we can take advantage of, and there's also a lot of confirmations that we can go through, so that way you guys can have a clear understanding on why it is that will take specific trades and based off upon what. So one thing you do want to realize, you want to go to your higher time frames. So in this case, I'm going to go over to my daily time frame and see what it is I'm actually seeing on my line analysis. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the line analysis and look for areas in the market that have been respected. Okay, right now we can clearly see that the market in this area has been respected right here as a resistance. We also see the market is actually kind of doing in this area a little bit of respect, but also in the past we can clearly see it's been respected as support, support, support. So it's, this is a very strong area in the market. Now, one thing I do like to do, I like to round up my numbers. So in this count, put 112.250, round it up. Now I'm going to go over to my candles and see how well this area has been respected. Now look at this right here. It's been respected one, two, three, right now four and five previously, okay? And we can also see some consolidation that was generated in this area as well. So this is a very important area in the market for us to take in consideration. Now, how are we gonna take advantage of this, okay? Now, you guys can see I have my RSI over here, and we'll be going a little in detail with RSI and how to take advantage of that alongside with this trade. So we do know this is our daily time frame. So I'm gonna go ahead and label this as a daily, daily time frame. So it's gonna be a daily tap. So I'm gonna go ahead and put daily T as a daily tap. Now that I have that, I'm gonna go ahead and move this over to the left side. Okay, move it over to the left side. Now let's go to lower time frame, like H4 time frame. What are we seeing on our H4 time frame? Overall, we have been seeing that this is a very, very strong level of support. Okay, and I'm gonna continue on seeing what the market will do in this area. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this area right here of support so I can take in consideration of what the market could potentially be doing in that area. Okay, and this is a very strong area in the market, so therefore I'm going to go ahead and put it in purple. Each color, each color has a, a re representation in this case. Purple is a very strong area in the market that I highly want to take advantage of. Okay, this is clearly right now a 100% retracement. Okay, we are clearly at a 100% retracement, therefore we can have a lot of opportunities. For the upside, if it does go to the upside, this is where we will potentially have better risk to reward because our drawdown will be a lot less due to the fact that it has done a full full retracement and when it does do a full retracement we expect for market to continue on going up or if not if it does continue on going down it breaks we now know that we are now on a downtrend for now we are still on an uptrend and we want to realize when it is going to be uh, when we will be able to take um this opportunity okay in this case right here we are seeing some divergence now you can clearly see that it has been oversold in this case right here it was sold oversold but not just that, we can also identify that we have some divergence. In this area right here, we can clearly see that the market's going up. Right here, we clearly see it going down. Therefore, we have some divergence. Okay. Now, going over to the lower time from like H1, let's see what we can identify. We can clearly identify it right here. Look at this right here. Market was going down, going down as well. Right here, it broke and was oversold this whole time. Okay, so this whole period from here to here we were oversold, okay? So that leaves us that this whole period from here to here, we were being oversold in this area. Okay, let's go ahead and put this as oversold. We were oversold in that area. Now when we were oversold, we were able to see that the market came up and broke, okay? Now look at this in divergence area, we can clearly see that right here, we will see some potential pullback on our RSI. Now, not just that, but we can clearly see some really good divergence on the H1 time frame now. We clearly see the market's going up in this case. In this case, the market did go up, but right here it's starting to go down. But overall, we are on an uptrend on our RSI. Now that we were able to identify that uptrend on our RSI, we want to go to lower time frames like M30 and see what we can identify. Now, right here, clear divergence as well. Continue on being divergence this whole time right here. Okay. Now these are things you want to take into consideration. Divergence are just going to help you identify those areas in the market where we can potentially have a reversal. Okay, we can clearly see the market came down right here. It's kind of testing. 
on my RSI and right here clearly testing that psychological level of 112 to 50. Okay, 112 to 50 is a very strong area in the market. If we do see some rejection off of this area, we will potentially be looking for the market to continue on going up. Okay. Now all we want to wait for is going to be that bullish price action. We want to see some bullish price action. Right now we just see divergence, we just see exhaustion, but this candle was really, really strong. Most likely we did have um, a lot of sellers just go in there so it can wipe us out. But overall, I am potentially looking for buying opportunities on USDJPY. Now, the way we will be pl plotting this will be a 25 to at least a 70 pip, 80 pip take profit. This is what I will be planning on this trade itself. Let's go ahead and put a 25. 25 pip stop loss, 80 pip take profit. Okay, that's what I'm planning for on USDJPY. This is how I'm looking at this trade itself. And looks like it will continue on being respected. And this is something that I'm looking forward to. It does plan out the way we want to. We'll clearly have a good potential of 80 pips due to the fact that it has been oversold. And we are in a very, very strong area in the market. So we have our divergence, which is our RSI, daily support and resistance, which is very important. Daily support and resistance, which is very, very important. Now, if this daily is broken, okay, with a very strong daily closure for the downside, then I will potentially leave out of my trade and wait for the next setup to continue on selling on the test of that um, daily support resistance and then for it to continue on going down if it was to do that. So this is our probability could potentially go down, test, and once it tests, then we'll continue on going down. But for now, we are waiting for the market to go up, okay? These are the two options that the market gives us. Now it just depends on us on how good of an eye we can put onto this and take an opportunity for this sell or buy an opportunity. There's only two ways that the market will go. It will either go up or it will go down. If it goes up, it will be directly from off of this 112.250. If it does go down, I'll wait for it to break, come back, test that 112.250 and then continue on selling. But for now, my overall bias is for buying opportunities. Now this is Mauricio and this is how I see Forex today on December the 18th and I will give you guys an update on how this trade went and played itself throughout the next two, three days, see how it played out, and then we'll go ahead and give you an update on the next video. So therefore, thank you for seeing this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys later, bye.